So, what separates the master from the beginner? Number one. One common misconception about a spit shine is that you just jab a bunch of layers of wax on top of the shoe and then just brush it off. And that's certainly not the case. What you do is add thin layers on top of each other, just like a house, and then just finish off with a meticulous finishing process. Making the perfect spit shine does require experience and training. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to improve the results. Tip one, patience. When building wax layers fast and creating stable wax layers, we need to allow the wax to settle and harden in between each layer. Now the best technique to do this is to work and jump between different regions of the shoe. What's important here is that the solvents within the wax are allowed to evaporate. This helps for the wax to go from a paste to a hard wax mold on the leather. If you get stuck and can't improve the results of your spit shine, you might have reached its potential. By allowing the shoes to rest, you will be able to improve the results. Because what happens is, as the shoes rest for a longer period, the wax will harden even further and will be more susceptible to adding additional layers, creating a more stable surface wax layer. The best spit shine is actually made when you apply your second round about two to three days after your first round. A good methodology when allowing the shoes to rest is to apply a thin layer of wax on top of your first coat of spit shine, followed up by buffing or finishing to a release, but you shouldn't finish fully. Now you allow the shoes to rest for about two to three days, and once you're ready, you bring them out and you apply an additional layer of wax. And this can be buffed off to a shine. Now what happens is the wax has hardened and is more susceptible for building layers fast and creating a much more elegant shine. Here you can see the big difference between a first stage spit shine and a second stage spit shine that was allowed to rest for about two to three days. Tip two, the temperature of the water. One of the most important tools for spit shining is the water. And the temperature of the water will factor in wax solidification behavior. At lower temperatures or even iced water, you're, it's ideal for building wax layers. Now the lower temperatures will allow the wax to solidify much faster and create a harder wax, which is ideal when you want to build layers on top of each other. It's however not good to use when you want to finish a shine because it creates a much more dull finish. With higher temperatures, around 40 degrees, you're able to keep the wax soft and frictionless between the wax and the cloth and also to speed up the evaporation rate. Now this helps to create a much more clean and crystal clear spit shine. So it's perfect when you want to finish a spit shine, but you do not want to use it higher temperature water when you want to build wax layers. Quick note, you could also use your breath at the final stages of the spit shine. This creates a humid and tempered condensation on top of your wax polish and it's easy to buff it up. Tip three, use alcohol. And in this case, isopropanol. Finishing is one of the most challenging stages of the spit shine technique. And it separates the master from the beginner. To create a clean spit shine without scratches and a mirror-like surface, you need to master this final stage. One useful technique is to mix isopropanol into your polishing water. This isopropanol will help to dissolve and keep the wax soft during the buffing and will evaporate very fast. And during the evaporation, it will absorb energy, thus temperature, and this will help to harden the wax and settle it to create a very clean and mirror-like surface. 
Now there are different techniques of using isopropanol. We found a technique using a 30 to 40% mix and this can be used only during the final stages of the spit shine. It is not recommended to use isopropanol during the initial stages when you want to build layers. For this you would need to decrease the mixture quite heavily. Practically apply a thin layer of wax on top of the spit shine. As soon as you feel friction you need to apply a small drop of the isopropanol mixture. And here's one important factor, you need to start moving very fast and continue to apply small drops of the isopropanol and polish. What happens is the wax solidifies very fast and creates a very hard wax surface. Sometimes the wax can even create a white layer. This could be very useful to creating a very high shine. Now just continue to add water and the mixture as you go. Don't be shy to use your breath as well. The spit shine is so clear, we can even see the reflection of the container. So, what separates the master from the beginner? Number one, patience. You allow time between applying thin layers of wax. You allow the shoes to rest before you apply the final application of the spit shine. Number two, you always use the right temperature of the water during the different stages of the spit shine technique. And finally, number three, you use isopropanol during the finishing stages to create a very mirror-like surface.